Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Forge and welcome on back to another video. Now, since the release of Minecraft on the Nintendo Switch, I'm sure there's a few of you guys out there that are asking the question, how in the world do I get my original Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition worlds onto the Bedrock Edition? Now, it's actually very simple because with the addition of the new version of Minecraft, of course we are on the Xbox One, but this should work exactly the same way on the Nintendo Switch. Now, we have ourselves a new button which says Sync Old Worlds. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on that button and it's going to start fetching all of your worlds from the old Nintendo Switch. Now let's say you have a world from the Wii U edition and you want it on the Switch. Of course it's very simple as well. You just have to transfer it over to the Switch. Then you can go ahead and transfer it right over to the Bedrock edition just like the way I showed you guys. Now the cool thing about this is that it shows every single one of your worlds that you have made. And unfortunately for me, I have over 100 worlds on this thing. So, if you have a lot of worlds, it's going to take a little bit longer, but just depending on how many worlds you have. But, for example, I have my Logicraft Season 2 world. So, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on there, then it's going to start syncing all that data. So, it says Converting World, and once it does convert that world, we will be all good. And now, as you guys can see, we now have my Logicraft world. So, if you want to go and play on it, all you have to do is go ahead and click on there, and it will start loading up the world. So the cool thing about this is, is that every single block that you placed, every single thing that you made will be completely intact. And plus you have access to the new features that are within Minecraft Bedrock, including the brand new tropical fish, the brand new aquatic stuff, and so much more. And as you guys can see, everything just literally transferred correctly. And if you have a world that you spent a very long time on and you just don't want to lose it, well, this is actually a really good way for you to keep that world intact. And most importantly, I have too many mobs around here. And I really do like this feature. It is a really nice feature. Now, now, I do also want to point out is that if you do have Minecraft on the Switch and you want to play on that same world on the Xbox One or either mobile devices or Windows 10, well, you won't be able to play on that world at all. So I kind of wish that they had a little bit of a cloud service to where if you have a world, you can save it to the cloud. And then once you go ahead and go over to that different console, you can go ahead and access that cloud and you have access to all of your worlds. That's one thing I really think that they should do. But other than that, if this tutorial was useful, then please let me know by leaving a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials by me in the future. But for now, I hope that you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye.